This segment is about the Aquamax Cones Q2 Protein Skimmer, but I can't adequately convey to you how much I love this skimmer without backing up a bit. The basics of a protein skimmer don't change that much. Let's take these three as an example. The Bubble Magus Curve 5, the SCA 302, and the Aquamax NF-1 Nano. They all have a collection cup, an air silencer, some sort of adjustment valve, a Venturi style air pump, and a bubble diffuser. And every protein skimmer works on the same basic principle by creating micro bubbles that organics are attracted to and pushing them up into a collection cup whereby you can remove them. But then why are there so many different brands and variations to consider? Well, that's because every hobbyist need is slightly different. So there are various options to consider. For example, do you want an AC pump or a DC pump? Most skimmers probably just come with an AC pump, but DC pumps do run a little bit more quietly and they offer the option of a controller so you can really tune the water height to exactly what you want. You might want a more compact skimmer where the pump is housed in the body of the skimmer itself. But if you have a larger area and you move that pump outside of the skimmer body, you're allowing a larger reaction chamber so that more organics can be filtered out. And depending on what kind of filtration you even have, you can get skimmers that go in a sump, that hang off the side of your display tank, or that are small enough to be placed in your rear filtration chamber. Next, you need to consider the size of the skimmer itself. What is its footprint? What is the height? Will it fit in your chamber? Will it fit under your display tank? And then what is the water height in the sump itself? Because while it's easy to place some sort of stand underneath the skimmer, you really can't lower a skimmer down. And lastly, for some hobbyists, the size of the collection cup really matters. Obviously, what skimmer you end up going with is going to depend on your build and what your needs are. But over the years with various skimmers that I've experienced, here are some of the most annoying things that I've noticed and that you might want to consider before purchasing or upgrading to a new skimmer. The first is micro bubbles escaping. I've had skimmers that have released so many micro bubbles, even after months of use, that I've had to install elaborate bubble traps just to keep them out of my display tank. Number two is noise. Not every pump is made the same and not every skimmer is constructed the same. So some are just noisier than others. Number three is size. The fourth most annoying issue when it comes to skimmers that I faced is a skimmer cup that is difficult to remove. So many of them are constructed in such a way that the only way to get the skimmer cup off is to put your hand inside and wiggle it back and forth. And oftentimes it pops off, spilling that disgusting skimmate either on yourself or back into the tank. The fifth and final most annoying characteristic of skimmers that I've experienced over the years is a skimmer that is difficult or nearly impossible to tune just right. Either it's too wet, it's too dry, it doesn't skim anything, or it's overflowing almost constantly. Read the reviews of skimmers you're looking at and find one that is easy to tune. Aquamax sells hang on the back style skimmers. They also sell a line of nano skimmers, which can fit in small tanks in a rear filtration chamber. And then they sell three types of in sump skimmers in various sizes. This is the Aquamax Cones Q2 Protein Skimmer. It comes with an Italian made CJ Shark needle wheel pump, an air intake silencer, cell cast acrylic construction, shock max rubber feet, highly adjustable outlet for pinpoint accuracy, a collection cup that screws on and has a handle. It's rated for up to 130 gallons with a heavy bio load, and it comes with a recommended water level of eight inches. I've had this Aquamax Cones skimmer up and running for two weeks now, so here's my honest review. First up, there was virtually no break in time. There are oftentimes little oils or things that come inside of a skimmer and it usually takes a couple weeks to really break it in so you're fighting with it overflowing or not being high enough. But this thing, honestly, I had it opened all the way, set it and forget it, and I haven't really had to touch it, which is amazing, actually. My second point is I have had zero bubbles, no joke, zero bubbles escape into the display tank. And, and it's no accident that no micro bubbles have escaped. It's how they designed the skimmer with the water exit exiting at the very bottom of the skimmer and the chamber being tall enough so that the bubbles stay near the top and don't escape. 
Point number three is that the gate valve they installed on the Aquamax skimmer is super easy to turn and makes micro adjustments so you can really dial in whether you want a wet skimmate or a dry skimmate. Point number four is it's crazy easy to clean the skimmate cup, the collection cup, because it comes with a handle. Something so simple really changes the overall experience and makes this super easy to clean. And point number five, that the Skimmate cup in the Aquamax Cones skimmer screws off instead of pulls off makes a huge difference. I've owned five skimmers now over my career, and I can say without hesitation, the Aquamax Cone SQ2 skimmer that I have here is hands down the best skimmer I've ever owned. First, you want to remove the plastic body screws from the base plate. Next, you're going to attach the CJ pump to the plastic base plate using this little plastic piece that's included. I don't know what to call that plastic piece, so we're just gonna call it a plastic doohickey or doodad. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to screw it into the base plate. Next up, we're gonna attach the bubble plate to the CJ Shark needle wheel pump. There's just a couple screws you're gonna tighten. Make sure they're snug, but don't over tighten them as it is plastic, so it could break. Next up, after aligning the power cord in the base plate, reattach the skimmer body to the base plate with the included plastic screws that you already removed. Now you're gonna insert the Venturi through the skimmer body into the CJ Shark pump and attach the yellow airline tubing. Finally, attach the silicone drain elbow to the collection cup and secure it with the included zip tie. Then just attach the collection cup and lid by gently tightening it to the skimmer base. 